Hi guys, this is Joanna again from Online English TV. Today we will talk about the difference between passive and active sentences. This is one of the basic lessons in English. However, it is a little bit confusing. So I decided to give a short explanation about the differences between the two. So if you are interested, then keep on watching until the end because I will try to explain it in a way that you could understand easier. If you are ready, so let's get started. Okay then, so let's start with the active voice first. So in an active form of voice or tone of voice, the subject of the sentence performs the action. The subject is the doer of the action. So it has a direct and clear tone. Now here's an example sentence of an active tone of voice. Parents take care of their children. What is the subject in here? Right, parents. What is the verb? Take care. So parents take care of their children. Parents are the doer of the action. And who received the action? Right, children. And that is the object of the sentence because object is the receiver of the action. Once again, this example sentence is an active tone of voice. Now let's compare this to a passive tone of voice. We're going to use the same sentence and let's just use the passive form of this sentence. Here you go. When we say passive form of voice, the object of the passive sentence becomes the subject. Okay, here you go. Compare the sentence with the active sentence earlier. Now, the subject in this passive voice is the receiver of the action. It's not the performer anymore. And passive tone of voice is used to emphasize the action instead of the performer. Now, let's take a look at this sentence. Children are taken care by their parents. Children is not the performer. They are the receiver of the action. And the performer of the actions are the parents. So, if, so can you understand the difference between the two? And if you can see children are taken care of by whom by their parents since you already know the difference between the active voice and the passive voice we will practice also and how to convert them or how to change the active voice into a passive tone of voice here is an example sentence that we have to consider the man delivered the products it's an active voice. Why? The subject, which is the man, performs the action, which is delivered. And the products received the action. Now, let's turn this sentence into passive. Here's, here are the following steps to follow. Number one, make the object of the active voice become the subject of the passive sentence. All right, now what is the object of the sentence again, of this active sentence? Very good, the products. So let's make it as a subject. All right, number two, add an auxiliary verb be to the main verb. Now look at the sentence again. What is the main verb? Delivered. It is past tense. So we have to add be verb before the main verb. The products were delivered. All right, so almost complete. Now, what is the next step? Place 
preposition by before the doer of before the doer of the action. So who is the doer of the action? The man. So what are you going to do? You have to add by. So the sentence, the passive sentence now is the products were delivered by the man. That would be all. And I hope you understand it. So you could review this video again if you're still confused and review the steps and how to convert or change active sentences into passive sentences. Before we end this video, I would like you to try to identify the following sentences first. Number one. 75% of the earth is covered by water. Active or passive? Very good. Passive. Okay, number two. Lisa visited her parents. If your answer is active, then you are correct. Lisa is the subject and who is also the performer of the action. Okay, so let's have the last sentence. The teacher gives a short quiz every Friday. Active or passive? And if your answer is active, then you are correct. Well done. So if you have still questions about passive and active sentences, please comment down below. I hope this video helped you to clear up your confusion. Then give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would appreciate if you click the subscribe button and the notification bell and be the first person to watch my videos. See you. Thank you so much for watching.